This video is sponsored by Ridge. Use my code KevinCoolX for 15% off at checkout. More on them later. The Tactical Ops event is live. So in this video, we're gonna be looking into the battle paths, shop, and playlist, and what kind of stuff can we do with this new event. If you wanna know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Well, the first thing I'm sure you guys all want to check out is the battle pass or the event pass you want to check out for the tactical ops event. And so it actually has some pretty good stuff in here. No challenge swaps, no XP boosts or anything. They're like actual things you can utilize on your character. All this is very Mark 7 focused as well. So we got stance, we got a new visor. You also have the Emil little charm right there, which looks pretty sweet. Next, we have the lone wolf backdrop right here at tier four, five, you get this pretty sweet looking helmet. That looks pretty awesome. There's a really cool attachment at the end of this tier list as well. Cover attachment for a chest piece, a new uh, side pack, which does look pretty sweet. I actually really like that one a lot. A new glove cover, which is great. A really great one, the Scorpion Punch coating, which I'm sure a lot of us have seen throughout a lot of the promotional material of Halo Infinite. Well, you can finally earn this for free now in Halo Infinite for your Mark 7, it looks like, yeah. And last here is your Mark 7 Zeta cover for your helmet right here, which Looked weird at first, but now it actually kind of looks cool at the same point. I do really like this helmet, so I think ultimately this pass is a really great amount of content that definitely want worth like jumping in and playing if you want to upgrade your Mark 7 stuff. Now, what will you be playing for this event? Well, guys, it's Tactical Ops Tactical Slayer playlist right here, which is basically Team Swap variants is what you're gonna be playing for this. The funny thing is, so your first thing you have regular just Slayer with the battle rifles, then you also have Slayer with tactical Slayer with the sidekicks. And then for the memes, you have Mangler's SWAT as well, which probably will be feeling a little less annoying compared to anything else. If anything, it might actually be better. I actually think sidekick tactical SWAT would actually probably play out rather well compared to battle rifle SWAT, which is cr great and snappy, but can be a bit campy because you're basically laser beaming people across the map. Next, you're probably asking what's in the shop. Right here we have the Anubis has returned, guys, but this time it is for 1,200 credits. Last time it was for 2,000 before the sale, the prices dropped in the store here. And I believe this is actually a little bit more than the previous armor set, which was like a has up. I think they had on sale. It comes with a pretty cool coating. Of course, then you have the Mark seven, like Anubis set as well, which looks pretty sweet. Uh, I've seen a few people online rocking this as well. I mean, it's kind of one of those things like if you bought this back when it came out, guys, like you kind of had to expect that like, yeah, this would have gone down in price because uh, definitely the launch prices for these bundles were just not sustainable sustainable whatsoever and uh, next we also have a bundle for the woodland trade winds i guess it's just a very series of different coatings this actually looks pretty sick right here so we got a coating for the m40 assault rifle then we have a coating for the tank right here which definitely stands out looks more unique that's pretty cool you have another one for the wasp uh, actually a completely different looking rim for your tires which is kind of crazy looking that's actually kind of insane looking but if you want to buy into it more power to you on that one and then we also have one for the warhog another one for the razorback another coating here for the rocket hog another one here for the mongoose and another one for the rocket mongoose or the gun goose you just want to call it interesting thing they just kind of randomly i feel like they kind of randomly just throw in this assault rifle coating i mean it looks great though very uh kind of traditional coatings you would see in other popular first person shooters out there <laughs> Uh, I mean, for five bucks, if you like it, more power to you, man. You know, why not for 500, 500 credits? Next, for a thousand credits here, we have the Cat Lovers Bundle, which brings back the perfect audio attachment, guys, right here. So, if you guys missed out on your cat ears, now is your time to actually jump in and finally do it. You get an emblem, and on top of that, you get cat, like <laughs> the pun intended, I'm sure, when it comes to the little uh, piece right there as well. And also just different coding, which is kind of bleh. Or, you know, I'm not going to bother with it. I mean, the big seller is the cat ears, you know, the perfect audio for this. So if you guys want to jump into that, more power to you on that one. And then for the daily bundle, you actually have some armor and also some co more coding customization. So over here, we have actually have an attachment for your helmets right here, which looks pretty sweet. You have another coating, which is just kind of like beige. Yeah, I mean, for 500 credits, it's kind of up to you if you like this kind of stuff. Shoulder pieces, which is great. And uh, that's kind of about what the store is looking at right now. So will I be picking up any of these things? unlikely i think i'd probably rather just save my money for something that's a little bit you know more unique and cool looking in my opinion but these packs certainly offer elements where i'm like okay i can see people why they would want to buy into the stuff maybe it's just not for me now quick word from today's sponsor ridge wallet ridge recently reached out to me to ask me if i want to check out their product and so far i've tried it out and honestly guys i'm actually really enjoying this 
Essentially what this is, it holds all your cards and your cash as well, but in a much smaller compact and also more secure way. Now I had that traditional chonky leather wallet for the longest period of time, and honestly it felt kind of awkward to hold at some point just because it was so bulky. But once I was able to limit the size of that wallet down to just this, with all my cards and cash on hand, like I don't think I can ever go back. You know when you do that traditional check of like phone, keys, wallet? Well, so many times I reach for the wallet part and I'm like, oh gosh, did I forget it? I'm like, no, it's just rich. It's just that thin and compact and that easy to carry around. Rich also has different types of styles you can have with your wallet as well and different types of products on top of that. They also have really great security along with just like ease of function and just overall just like a better product than you would normally expect out of just a simple product like a wallet or anything else. Now, the reason why I mentioned security is because the Rich wallet comes with an RFI ID blocker as well to stop you from any digital pit pocketers. So if you're interested in checking out Ridge Wallet, which I highly suggest you should check them out guys. Honestly, it's great stuff. You can use my link in the description and in the pinned comment down below to get yourself 15% off when you use the code KevinCoolX at checkout. So thank you Ridge Wallet for sponsoring this video. Let's get right back into the content here. And I also want to show you guys here, I covered this on back on February 1st, was that this leaked image came out of like what the battle pass or the password or the event was going to look like for Tactical Ops and it turned out to be 100% accurate. That's kind of the thing about these leaks, you have to take them at face value and sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. But when I made a video talking about that the Tactical Ops event was delayed without either being ever being announced, well, that was probably rather true as in all previous leaks about the release dates on these events have been 100% accurate until the Tactical Ops one. So that's kind of the main thing about these leaks that sometimes I like to cover on this channel, give you guys some early information about what's coming in the Halo, is that sometimes it falls through, but most of the time it does seem to come through just fine. By the way, interesting thing that just came up now that that uh, 343 finally released a little bit of information about the TAC Ops event. They have a post here about it on Halo Waypoint. Most of it just kind of covered exactly what we're talking about here, saying that this event does conclude on March 22nd at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So you guys got a decent amount of time to go through and earn your unlocks. So that's about two weeks right there. So that's great to see. Um, interesting thing, this didn't show up. Maybe they might be refreshing the playlist a little bit while this event goes live, which would be a great thing to do. Because right now, if we remember correctly, we saw a team, Tactical Team Slayer, Sidekick, and manglers but no stalker rifles or commandos but these modes are in the hopper as well so maybe like with the second week we'll get stalker rifles and commandos or something like that that would be a nice little change of pace but again like for it just being kind of just like swat kind of like me you know i'm not a huge swat fan I me mean, i like it in halo infinite but uh for the most part i like to play more ranked than just regular team slayer for the most part but hey maybe now that we have these tactical ops event more people will be playing into it it might be looking a little bit more fun so the last thing i want to touch on before we head out guys are the challenges what are we going to have to do to earn these event passes well first of all the weekly challenge right here is the pretty sweet looking visor i like that one a lot so that's a good reward though i'll definitely will be grinding at my challenges for the week but what kind of event challenges are we going to be seeing here so we have one challenge of kill enemy spartans from behind with a melee attack in tactical team slayer which sounds simple but can be a rather a rare occasion to happen because of the way SWAT plays out. Another one I have here is kill enemy Spartans with a Mangler in Tactical Slayer seven times. That's a very doable one, so that's no problem for me on that one. Another one is win Tactical Slayer matches, win two of those. That's basically a 50-50 each time you play, so that's not any big deal here. Uh, earn a distinct killing spree in Tactical Slayer, so like at least earn like a five kill streak. Very doable for most people I'd say out there. Again as well, uh, kill enemy Spartans with headshots seven times. That's just like play the game kind of challenge. Kill three enemy Spartans in rapid succession in Tactical Slayer. So I, I basically just get a triple kill three times, which in might sound kind of tricky, but then again, you only need one shot to get that kill, right? So if you have BRs, it'd probably be a little bit easier for you guys to pull that kind of stuff off. I mean, also all these other challenges are mixing our rare standard stuff we get during the, throughout the entirety of the week. Again, and they're earned uh, sprees, or stop an enemy on sprees, which I know people love that challenge back from Fiesta. Uh, but I think this one might be a little bit more common as it's just easier to get kills uh, in SWAT. So it'd probably be easier to find people that are going on streaks possibly, or maybe even harder because of how quick you can die. It just kind of depends on what kind of players you play against. That's just, again, just play the game. You know, I think I remember I had that challenge in Fiesta. It took me about five games to get that completed, but that's yeah, not that bad i guess yeah and earn enemy enemy headshots here 25 of those and kill spartans from behind with a melee attack seven times again i might be switching these out because that just seems so rare that happened in swat especially for how easy you can hear footsteps in the game 
But yeah, you know, we just kind of have to wait and see how that actually plays out. I mean, I might, I think I might be using my channel swaps on the melee ones because I just, it, it, you rarely ever get melees in SWAT, at least from my experience from playing, at least from how I play it. But if you guys are new to the channel, missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo Infinite news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.